Greetings YouTubers! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel and in today's video, like I said in my last past videos about this ADC turntable that I will convert this one into 220 volts. And now, let's get started. First thing first, let's trace the primary and secondary connection of this transformer. Primary connection always connected to the power cord or this AC plug. So this is the wire, then goes to this part. And from this point, this is now the wire going to this side of the transformer. Let's expect that these two wires are high voltage. 110 volts and from this point it has a red wire it connects to this circuit here and these two red wires are secondary before replacing the power transformer let's check first the output voltage of this transformer to check this one let's isolate these two wires from the rest of the circuit The two red wires are now isolated from the rest of the circuit and I connect these two wires going to my multi-tester and this turntable is already plugged in 110 volts and still no power because it has a switch connected to the tone arm and it must be turned on. This is the switch. I will push this part and let's check the output voltage and it reads 16 volts. Now that we know the output voltage of this transformer, we can now replace this transformer with a new transformer, 220 volts primary, secondary, 16 volts. This is my transformer and this is 220, 110 and the common. This is on the primary side, secondary side is 16, 0, 16. I will not use 16 because this is 32 volts. I will use 0, 16 or 0, 16. Next, I'm going to detach this strobe light because this is 110 volts and it needs to plug in 110 volts. I'm going to detach this junction box and let's check the inside part. This is the junction box, this is the ceramic disc, this is connected to the switch, this is the fuse, this is the resistor of the strobe light. I'm going to detach the resistor and the strobe light. This is the resistor of the strobe light. Before connecting the strobe light, connect the resistor in a series connection like this before connecting to the 110 volts. About this junction box, no more modification and now let's connect all the pieces together. Now let's wire first the primary part of the transformer and these two wires, this is coming from this junction box and from junction box, this is connected directly to your AC cord or the power cord. So I will connect these two in the common and in 220 volts. This is a strobe light and this is how to connect the resistor and the strobe light is 110 volts. This is the part I will connect my strobe light, common, and 110 volts.
and this is the connection on the secondary side this is going to the rectifier this is the primary side the two black wires this is connected to your power source 220 volts the resistor on the center and the white wire connected in common this is my 110 volts this is connected going to my strobe light this is now the transformer and let's check the 33 rpm speed let's peep here hope I can manage to focus anyway it's hard to focus here guys so I'm using a strobe disc I will turn off the light I have my strobe light and let's check first the 33 rpm the 33 rpm is the black circle and the lines are stable now let's check the 45 rpm 45 is the red small circle the lines are stable Before I will end this video, I will share the three methods in converting 110 100 volts into 220 volts. First is to rewind the primary side and make it 220. Second is this method, replace with the same value but the primary is 220. And third, I will make a video on this, implant a step down transformer 110 volts inside without replacing this one. That's all. Hope this video helps and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more interesting videos to come. Thanks for watching.